question is, how does an airplane fly? You'll have to look at Sir Isaac Newton's third law of motion. He observed the force of gravity while sitting under an apple tree. Well, we all know what happened after that. The apple fell on his head. In aviation, you need the four forces of gravity. Lift to gravity and thrust to drag. In 1490, during the Renaissance period, the first airplane designed was by Leonardo da Vinci. He observed birds flying and imitated the way they glide, as seen in his sketches. The flying machine had a wingspan exceeding 33 feet, the frame made of pine. In the early stages of aviation, aircrafts were built with pine, due to being light and sturdy. The wings covered in raw silk did not add weight in order to create a better chance for lift. The only downfall to da Vinci's sketch the flying machine needed power, which, at the time, engines didn't exist until the Industrial Revolution. Leonardo's aviation sketches would continue to inspire many dreamers, even the Wright brothers, who were accredited for the first flight at Kitty Hawk on December 17, 1903. Two brothers who owned a bicycle shop in Dayton, Ohio. They had a dream to fly. At the time in history had many innovative soul-seeking and entrepreneurs dedicated to win the title, first to fly. The Wright brothers never gave up. Countless experiments, testings, and challenges to conquer their one quest. Lift off and soar through the sky. JBS integrates technology in the classroom with real world experiences, giving a unique opportunity for students to learn, explore, and excel. Breaking down the classroom walls to go beyond the schoolyard, JBS.